Hello Booktube. This is the uh, fourth bookcase, the long wall bookcase. This is the sixth video, which is the top shelf, um, art, architecture, that sort of stuff. Um, we're going to start with another museum guide, the Hermitage, which is one of the places I have been. And I was there in 1991. This is the Hermitage Selected Treasures from a Great Museum, text written by the curatorial staff of the State Hermitage Museum, commissioned by the Hermitage Joint Venture, State Hermitage Museum, Leningrad, 1990. So this is from that period in time. Um, truly one of the great museums of the world. So it's a typical guide to a museum, but it's not a typical museum. So uh, that's pretty. I, I'll, I'll sit down for memory's sake and peruse it every now and then. Um, The collection's just vast. It's full of images that everybody knows. So, um, and a lot that are very unique. So, Hermitage. And the next one I have here is Byzantine and Russian painting. Um, it's by uh, Kostas Papayano. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, or at least close. Um, it was uh, Funk and Wagnalls, New York. It was translated by Janet Sondheimer. Yeah, this is uh, 1965. So here's the title page. It's good. Got some hand papers there. Introduction. Nice maps. There's Ravenna, Constantinople, Byzantine world, basically. I, uh, fell in love with the icons when I was in Russia um, and uh, this was just part of my effort to educate myself and the next two books uh, are really 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 special um, they're gonna be a bit much to handle here and I've tried to think of different ways of doing it um, if I was downstairs and my children weren't watching their shows I'd I do it there. So I'm going to try it up here and see how it goes. Viktor Nikitich Lazarev, the Russian icon from its origin to the 16th century. Like I say, I really fell in love with these uh, when I was in Russia. This is a uh, a liturgical press book, the liturgical press, Collegeville, Minnesota, 1996, uh, English language edition, 1997. This is the English language edition. It's edited by G.I. Zdornov, translated from the Italian by Colette Jolidis, an English text edited by Nancy McDerby. So this thing's been, <laughs> it's got quite a publishing history. So it starts out, the discovery and study of early Russian icons, uh, icons of the 11th, 13th century. I'm just flipping through. Because... And you see how these are, how the publishers decided to do this. Is these, well, you can get a feel there, these black backgrounds, which I can't even imagine how much this costs to do. But it does help set the icons because, because of their color. 
to set set them off and make them look very rich, which they are. But they don't get lost in a sea of white and bleached out. They they've got that black background. So if you like this sort of art, this. This is a book not only that you can learn a lot from, but one that uh, you can just enjoy looking at. Um, glasses out of the way here. Um, and then I have another one here. This is Conrad O'Nash and Anne Marie Schneider, Icons, The Fascination and the Reality. Another very large, beautifully produced book. And this one is, uh, let's see here, translated by uh, Daniel G. Conklin, Riverside Book Company, Incorporated, in New York. Um, did they give us a date here? Uh, yes, they do. 1995. I'm going to show you the title page here. I can do it without damaging the book here. turn this off. Maybe the image will be better. Right. I don't think so. Special effects department in here. Oh, look at this. It's just page after page of this sort of thing. Let's see if we've got the, the one that really, really get me into it all. Uh, let's see if they have an index. They do have an index. And I'm going to look up a fella. That is the reason I was so into this. So 84, 86. His name is Rublev, and uh, Andre Rublev. This is page four. And I, it was his icon on the Trinity. Um, very close. I should have found this before, but it just struck me that I might want to do it now. Now, here's a, this is a Rublev, an early one. Here's some uh, ivories. So this video is going longer than it should have because Anyway, it, it, they're, they're wonderful to, to look through. And, um, to learn about. And it was something I really got into after my trip to Russia. So, that is it for the uh, Byzantine art and the Russian icons. And uh, thank you, book people.